Hi, welcome to showmethecurry.com. I'm Anuja. And I'm Hethel. And Dogla is usually a Gujarati snack which is made from rice and dal, but today we're making an instant version made from suji. And here's what you'll need. 2 cups coarse suji, 2 tablespoons oil, quarter teaspoon carom seeds or ajwain, 1 teaspoon finely grated ginger, green chili finely chopped to taste, salt 1 teaspoon or to taste, 1 cup water, 1 cup yogurt well beaten, quarter teaspoon turmeric powder, 2 teaspoons eno fruit salt, spray cooking oil, for the seasoning 2 tablespoons oil, 1 teaspoon mustard seeds, 2 teaspoons sesame seeds, green chilies to taste, de-seeded and slicked, 10 sprigs of cilantro chopped. For our suji dukla, we don't need to roast the suji, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, add it to our mixing bowl. And uh, then we have a little bit of ajwain, and uh, to release its flavor, we're just going to put it in our palms and just kind of uh, crush it like this between our palms. That way it releases a lot of the flavor from there. And finally, uh, oil goes in. Okay. And we're going to mix this around to make sure that all the oil gets, uh, all the suji gets coated with the oil evenly and there are no lumps. Nice. And while I'm doing this, actually, we can go ahead and mix our yogurt in with uh, some of our spices here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add in some salt. The green chilies, the turmeric, and the ginger. Now you're going to give this a very good mix and then we're going to put it in with the suji. Okay, this is ready, well mixed in, so I'm going to go ahead and add it to our suji. And I'm going to mix it really nicely, make sure everything gets incorporated well. And at this time, we're also going to add in our water. And once this is nicely mixed, we're going to keep it uh, for about 15 to 20 minutes. We're going to let it rest. Dokla batter is resting now, and in the meantime, we thought we'd show you what we're going to make the dokla in. So this is a um, authentic. <laughs> Dokla stand, and it's it's pretty neat uh, neat contraption. It's got uh, small trays like this, uh, thin trays, and they all stack. It's similar to an idli maker, but uh, you know they're not small small idlis. It's an actual pan inside there, and there's like four of them that sit nicely, and uh, you can put this inside of a steaming pot of water, and uh, that's how they cook. Or in a pressure cooker. Yes, in a pressure right. cooker without yes. the weight. Right. Right, and if you don't have one of those beautiful dokla <laughs> stands, and you like me, <laughs> you can don't do worry. This. <laughs> yes. this is a makeshift one. You don't have to run out and buy that. Uh, so this is a pan, and here we have uh, just a steel tray or a steel plate with with a little bit of depth. You right. definitely want that. And under that, we're going to put. Uh, you know, just another steel thing upside down so that this can sit on top of it. Now you don't want that in the water. Right. That's the bottom line. You're trying to get uh, this particular depth in here somehow. And if you don't have this, you can take your steel katoris, your uh, steel bowls and put three or four of them and mm -hmm. put that on top of that. So a lot of different options. So here you go. This one goes here like that. And then we put a little bit of water and in goes the the dhokla poly and then close it up and that's how we can that's how we can also do it if you don't have one of those <laughs> so we actually have our uh, pot boiling with uh, again about an inch inch and a half of water and it's actually starting to come to boil now and our uh, dhokla batter has been resting for about 20 minutes now and this is our final step uh, we have some eno fruit salt and um, we're going to sprinkle that in and give it a good mix well, this is very important that you do it at the end because it is going to foam up. So this is Eno, it's available at any Indian grocery store and um, it's called Eno Fruit Salt and uh, it's, it's just an agent to help the Tokla and Italy's rise uh, fast. So um, while we were waiting for this, we went ahead and lightly uh, spray coated this with a little bit of spray oil just so the Tokla won't stick to the bottom and we're going to fill our trays with this batter. Now you don't want to fill them all the way up because they will rise a little bit, so probably just halfway is good enough. And 
can go ahead and put our trays into our dukla stand. Wow. And this is going to go into our uh, pot of boiling butter. And uh, be careful because a lot of steam is coming out, so you don't want to burn your hand while you're trying to do this. And again, uh, we have a stock pot with a, the lid has a small opening to let the air escape, but if you have a pressure cooker, one of the large pressure cookers, mm -hmm. it works just fine. Uh, you need to cook it without the whistle, the weight on the top, and it will work perfect. Right. And again, this is about 15 minutes in here. Um, it's going to uh, be cooking on medium heat for 15 minutes, and we can switch it off and check on it. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. We're gonna do, we've turned off the stove, and we're going to open it carefully. Looks really good. Yeah. So again, we're going to take it out very carefully. Mm, perfect. So we're going to let the dokla sit here for just a couple of minutes because it's very hot to handle right now. And in the meantime, we're going to work on the seasoning. So we have a, a medium skillet here going on medium heat. Here, pan is hot, so we'll go ahead and add some oil. And wait for that to heat up before we add our mustard seeds. And we're going to go ahead and attempt to take this off. It's cooled down a little bit. It's a great gadget to have. It's actually available in uh, some of the uh, larger Indian stores that sell the utensils and the pots and pans, steel appliances. Mm -hmm. um, it's readily available. So right. <laughs> well, it's hot. Yep, it's hot. Right. So add in our mustard seeds and let them pop. The mustard seeds are popping, so we're going to add sesame seeds. And these are really known to pop a lot, so be sure you have a cover handy. All right. They don't splurt out at you. Be very careful while you're doing that. And as soon as they start popping a little bit, we can add in our slit green chilies. And let them cook for about uh, 30 to 40 seconds. Okay, perfect. Now we can switch off our stove. And now we have some uh, cilantro leaves. We're going to sprinkle them on top of our dough club. Okay. And uh, with a spoon, we're going to take a little bit of this oil and drizzle it over the top. Wow. And these are going to be cut into small uh, pieces, so uh, just make sure that uh, all the places are covered. It doesn't have to be completely covered with oil, but at least that uh, every piece that's cut will have a little bit of this oil on there. Just allow them to get a little uh, you know, cooler before you cut them, because I don't think they'll cut really well if they're very, very hot. Okay, uh, when we try to cut our dokla, we have just a regular knife here. I'm going to take just a little bit of oil and lightly spread it on both of the sides and uh, this way the dokla won't stick to the knife. Okay. Wow, it looks very spongy. It's perfect, that's perfect. What, how you want it to be. And this is actually, it's a great snack. So you can uh, serve it with uh, chutneys, any particular, mm -hmm. any chutney, the mint chutney, mint chutney coriander yes. or the tamarind chutney. It tastes very, very good. And you can cut these in, you know, as big or little <laughs> squares as you like. Okay, and just to show you how the texture came out, you can take one out. Let's see. Perfect. Spongy. Wow. Perfect size. Excellent. Yeah. So anyway, these are um, best served warm, uh, not, not piping hot, but uh, definitely not cold. Right, <laughs> right, that's true. It's wonderful with tea, even if you have uh, some unexpected guests, it's a perfect, easy snack, and it won't take hardly any time at all. Right. So join us again on another episode of ShowMeTheCurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life.